Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for May 6, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at terrorbarber.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Queen of Wands, the full in reverse to the Four of Pentacles. Damn, Virgos. Damn. You guys got somebody here who's definitely very much so jealous and envious of you. This person might be projecting the evil eye on you guys as well with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Three of cups and the death card maybe this person wants you to to end you in some sort of way here as well with the death card but they are very jealous and envious of you maybe this person's jealous of the fact that maybe of your finances maybe their fact that you are loved you're kind you're caring and everything like that virgos maybe this person's becoming even more so obsessed with you too at the end of the day, you're no longer going to be moving forward towards this person with the full card in reverse, the star card. You're seeing this person for exactly who they are, and you know that they're very toxic as well. So you guys are calling it a day for judgment, and you're wrapping the shit up for pentacles. You are no longer going to be giving to this person. You are no longer going to do any of that stuff. Judgment is going to be in your favor, because if you guys were sitting here helping somebody out, and they were projecting the evil eye onto you, you have every right to pack your shit up for pentacles and please understand that the divine is going to be on you guys' side more so on the side than more so on your side than the side of the person who you had nothing but good intentions for but they are clearly sitting there jealous and envious of you uh this person you're no longer going to give to this person virgos anymore it's just it is what it is you feel like they're jealous of you you're you're or you know more so know it you're not longer going to give this person any more of your energy with the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. It does stress you guys out a whole lot because you guys know what this person, who this person is for you guys. And just the fact that if knowing that you put yourself in a position to help somebody out like this, it absolutely stresses you guys out and gives you guys anxiety. So you guys are just going to make a move and continue to hold down, hold yourselves down. You guys have so much power and so much strength as well. But just feeling, being around someone who was like this does not make you guys feel good at all. Unraveling of the truth. You guys found something out, right? You guys being the Empress in reverse, you guys found out. You guys found out maybe even through a dream as well with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands. And you guys realize that whatever it was that you guys ended up seeing here in a dream state, you guys knew, know now to defend yourselves with the Seven of Wands. You guys are very much so protected. So if anybody here wants to come at you, Virgos... Please understand that the divine judgment and the seven of wands is going to take care of you at all costs because you had nothing but good intentions for this person. And if they chose to become jealous and envious over you because of for whatever reason, because of the gifts that you have with the four of pentacles, please understand that's something that's going to have to be taken up with the divine and that has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with them. And you don't have to do nothing. You're protected. Leave it to the divine. Let the divine handle this situation here. Virgo. Some people want to cross you. And even when they know what you're capable of, <clears throat> And even when they know what you're capable of, and even when they know that you're protected, and even when they know that you're a high priestess, for some reason people think that you're never going to find out. How? How are you not going to ever fucking find out? That's why you always got to be careful with them high priestesses, yeah. You always got to be careful with them high priestesses. Because the way that these high priestesses are out here, <laughs> you know, they'll look at you and be like, yeah, th no problem. But they fucking know. They have been knowing. Anyways, Virgos, you guys got a lot of love and a lot of support here with the Page of Cups of the Four of Wands energy. You guys are no longer going to be moving towards this person anymore. And it makes you guys very sad that you guys wanted to invest in this person. And then at the last second, you realize that, shit, maybe it's not a good idea. This person is jealous and envious. I don't want to be around people that are like this. Unraveling of the truth. You guys find out the fucking truth in, during a dream. So in your dream, you saw what the fuck this person was really trying to do. And this person became very aggressive. Maybe you guys had a dream about someone who felt like you were they were attacking you, but in reality, that's what they want to do is attack you, but they couldn't, so they attacked you in a dream. Uh, all right, so you guys are no longer going to be moving towards this person at all. You guys are moving on with your life, and because you guys chose to do that, continue to move forward. Uh, cherry card, you guys end up winning in the long run, so understand that more opportunities are going to be coming in for you guys. At the bottom of the deck, you got the King of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. You guys might have two offers that are going to be coming towards you guys, Virgos, but you guys are going to have to make a decision on to choose who are you going to want to be with. There might be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who is watching you a little bit too tough right now or even a Libra. However, though, Virgos, uh, you guys have to make a decision between these people. There's a lot of people. Who, who are you going to choose? And it has to be more so of a head and heart decision between the two of them, all right? 
yes, your heart goes to one person, but your mind goes to somebody else. <laughs> who are you going to choose? There could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's sitting there watching you, Virgos, and this person is kind of worried that you're going to make a decision that has that's not going to end up choosing them. <sighs> Yeah, Virgos. You guys are very spiritual. You guys are very woken, especially with the Net King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. You guys are the high priest, male or female. You guys are the high priest, high priestess. You guys are very much so connected to the divinity, and you guys are very intuitive and everything like this, but there is a lot of things that you guys need to release from the past so you guys can continue to move forward. Also, Virgos, there's going to be a Libra, a Taurus, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who wants to come back towards you. This person's hoping that you have not released them or let them go. See, the energy is here. The energy is here. I'm calling the energy out and the energy is already here. And this is even better than what we were talking about before. You being the high priestess, what gives people the right to think that they can get away with the shit that they're doing onto you? Seven of Swords. You want to take from a high priestess? You want to be friends and then act like a fake friend to a high priestess? Yeah, you want to manipulate and steal and think that you can get one on a high priestess? You know, you're taking yourself straight to the nine of, pen nine, of nine of Swords. That's a Nine of Pentacles right there. Right? Two of Swords. This person here wanted to make you think that they were a friend to you when really in actuality they didn't want to have friends with you. They don't want to be friends with you. They saw what you were capable of with the high priestess. <laughs> they were awed and awe because of your gifts. That's how I see it. People who are high priestesses, you honestly and genuinely cannot have friends. It's not it's it's fucking impossible to have friends when you're a high priestess. Why do you have the gifts that you have? Why are you so connected for? Dog, you don't even know what fucking high priestesses even go through on a fucking daily basis. The fuck you mean? What the fuck is there to be jealous of? You wouldn't even be able to handle half the shit that the high priestesses ever fucking go through out here. You kidding me? Oh, get out of here, man. Fucking get out of here. You guys are going to connect yourselves and stay connected to divination. That is, it is what it is. You guys are taking back your power and it makes you guys very fucking sad too. That people have the audacity to fucking be fake friends with you. Uh, it gives you, it, it hurts your feelings, Virgos. Especially when you guys have nothing but good intentions for people. And then a little bit later on you find out that that person was nothing but jealous and envious of you. Oh the fuck not. Oh the fuck not. You, they can step the fuck out of your way. Step the fuck out of their way. Because when you guys stump, step into the Queen of Sword energy... You're nothing but a little page at this point, all right? You guys are going to continue to focus on yourselves, focus on your money. You're, st you're, you're standing up for yourselves, Virgos. A lot of money is coming back towards you, a ton of it. It's coming back towards you, Virgos. After the fact that you guys have busted your asses off with that fucking tower card, you sat there and busted your asses off so fucking hard to get to where it is that you guys are, and all people want to do is just take that away from you. You guys are sitting there like, when is it going to be my turn? Six of Cups. I busted my ass off. I did everything I can to pull up a foundation for, for yourselves, right? And they're saying, don't even worry about it. It's coming in because one cycle of your life is over and the Wheel of Fortune is coming in towards you guys, Virgos. Everything that was meant to destroy you did not destroy you. You guys were still able to get up and work at the end of the day. So you guys have a lot of success, a lot of happiness, a lot of merriment success. There is a lot of competition around you guys and a lot of hate as well, but... When things start picking up a lot more faster, you guys are going to be like, what the fuck? I didn't realize how fast things are going to start picking up, right? Um, there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who felt like they wanted to attack you in some sort of way here, Virgos. But you guys, oh, look at that. The angels are sending that energy right the fuck back. Be careful. Be the fuck careful. Yeah, it's not going to happen at all. Uh, you guys are definitely the magician. You guys can have anything in the world that it is that you guys want. You guys might have a Gemini Libra Aquarius who is just sitting there watching at the moment because you guys are the Nine of Cups. You guys are beautiful, fulfilling. You, this person sees you for exactly who it is that you guys are. And a lot of you guys may want to move on with your life and forget about this person, but they're not saying nothing to you as of yet. Also, Virgos, you guys might be receiving a, le a message, a letter, a message from a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person's hoping that you'll be able to reach back out to them after after they speak to you, after the fact that they have ghosted you or slept on you as well. Mm. 
but you guys have a lot more manifestations is going to be coming in. A lot of you guys might be feeling really overwhelmed at the same time. So you guys might be sleeping a lot too, especially if you guys are suffering from depression as two Virgos. But if there's going to be a Pisces and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who's going to be coming back towards you guys, you guys are so tired of fighting for this connection because it doesn't make you guys feel like it's getting anywhere. And it just makes you guys feel left out in the cold. You guys are just going to start investing in yourselves and taking care of your own self-love. Thanks, cuties. Bye.